welcome 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 back to my channel i'm so pleased you keep on coming to this channel um if you haven't subscribed to this channel please go under the video and press the subscribe button and also go under the video you see thumbs down and thumbs up please press the thumbs up to give me to like the video so that youtube will promote my videos and don't forget to leave a comment i want to know where you are learning from and um, today we are looking at someone requested i've received few requests uh, people are requesting for how to use uh, 145 that's do far and so to play hundreds or thousands of songs in key G. I've done a video for key C. I've done a video for key F using 145, which means do far and so. And people are requesting that I should do in key G. Some are also saying key D. Please, if you are someone who plays key D, look for do far and so and you can use it to play hundreds of songs or thousands of songs i'm not going to do a separate video for key d so this is for key g i'm doing one uh, do fa and so to play hundreds of songs thousands of songs for key g let's come back to the keyboard as i take you through how to play hundreds or thousands of songs using one four five do fa and so welcome welcome back to my channel today we are looking at how to use one four five uh, do fa and so to play hundreds of songs or thousand songs um using do fa and so which is also known as one four five um we are using key G. Okay, so this is this is the middle C. So C D E F G. C D E F G. So this is G. So this is G. This is G. This is G. So whenever you think about G, think about it around three the three black keys. G G. G okay. Um, so now that we know our G, which means our skill is going to start from here, let's play the skill of key G so that we can, through the skill of key G, we can develop our course or deduce our course from the skill. So let's go through the skill of key G. Mm -hmm. Let's go over once more. Okay, so a uh, close look at what I just played shows that in the scale of key G, there is only one black key, which is the T, and this is F. So the T is F sharp. So this is F sharp. This is F sharp. F sharp. So do re mi fa so la ti. The T is F sharp. Do do ti la so fa mi re do. So uh, you know that in key G there is only one black key which is F sharp. Okay, that's nice. Now that we know our skills, let's try and get the do fa and so which is going to be the three chords that we can we say we can use to play any song of our choice okay so the first key that we'll need is do okay but before that the bass when it comes to the bass to we we can always play octave we, uh, the octave of the root keys the octave of the root key so let me take you through the octave of the root keys 
the bass so whatever i play in the treble uh, the corresponding uh, 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 this thing will be will be played in the bass so uh, octave in the bass Do, sorry Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, te, to, to, te, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. so that's the corresponding uh, octave for the various root keys okay so let's look for the three chords that we need so the first chord that we need is the one which is a do there is a do so once you know your do you secure the octave do to here so this is the do how do we play the treble in Kijin? Is G B D G B D G B D is our do so this is do do G B D so do it's also known as one because that's the first key in the scale of Kijin. Kijin do re mi fa so la ti do that's the first key so we call it one so that's the first one okay the next chord that we need which is fa is do re mi fa the moment you identify your fa you secure the octave fa so for the bass you secure the octave fa then for the treble for the treble this is how we play the fa this is how you play the fa okay but for the purpose of this lesson you are not going to play the fa like this this is what we call fa in root position this is the root key and the root key is the bottom key of the three key uh, the bottom note of the three notes the bottom notes of the three notes okay However, for the purpose of this lesson, we are not playing it like this because when we are from Do, I don't want you to move from Do and go and play Fa. If people have good music here, they will know there is a little break in the song or a little, yeah, a little break in the song. So what we are going to do, or the beauty of inversion is that stand in Do and play your hot and play your Fa. Don't move from Do and go and play Fa. What does that mean? That means that this key, this key is also here. So there is no need for you to move from Do and come to Fa. Just stand in Do and play your Fa. It's as simple as that. That is the beauty of inversion. So you see that you will be playing the piano. You will be not move. You your fingers will not be moving left and right, left and right. You you will be standing at one place, but you are playing different different chords. Okay. So this is the Do. For the purpose of this lesson, this is how you are going to play the Fa. Okay. The last chord that we will need is So, which is, uh, so the, the Do is 1. The Fa is 1, 2, 3, 4. The Fa is 4. The fourth note. The Do is first note. 1, 2, 3, 4. The Fa is fourth note. Then the next chord that we need is so. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Okay, so you secure the octave so. Let's see. The so is also one, two, three, four, five. So that's why we say the do is one, the fa is four, and the so is five. So when you say you hear people saying, uh, "Give me one, four, five, they are talking about do, so, and fa. 
or 1415 they are talking about do fa do so it's as simple as that okay how are we going to play the, the we've we've already secured the so this is the so so we secure the octave uh, so now we want to know how to play how to play the treble that's uh, that's where the uh, this thing comes so take your time and let's look at how we are going to play the treble watch my fingers this is the root key which means of course we are going to play this so my finger will be on this we are also going to play this then we are going to play this. So this is how you play the so. You see that now there is a black key. And the black key, as I told you earlier on, the only black key we will play in this song or this uh, lesson is key F. So, so let's go look at the treble again. We say this is the root key. No problem. How do we play? play the treble you press the root key which is the key we are supposed to play we press uh, we'll press this one we'll press this one then we'll press this one so it's like this okay so it's f sharp a and d f sharp a and d so 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 f sharp a and d it's as simple as that so we are done the lesson is over so this is these are the three chords that you can use to play almost any song of your choice i'm not good at singing but at least i also have one or two or three favorite uh, songs that i will use as an example to show that you can use this three chords to play any song of your choice before i start playing one of my favorite uh, songs that i i don't know how to sing very well if you haven't subscribed to this channel please go under the video and press the subscribe button and also share my share this video a lot of people are requesting for this video so don't forget to share okay let's try something welcome back the camera was not capturing some of the notes so i have to go and do readjustments okay so let's try so we say do fa and so in kijin is you can use it to play a lot of songs like in other keys so let's try something and see Thank you. 
songs like that you can use it then there's another three songs that come into my mind Who know the song will know what I'm pl I'm playing. So, uh, song another song that comes into my mind. We give you glory as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. you songs that come into my mind. like that you can use it uh, another song that comes into my mind so that song you can use it my i don't know my voice is not good and i don't know how to sing so i'm just showing you the songs that you can and another song that comes into my mind. That song you can also use it to play. Another song that comes into my mind. Um, song you can also use it to play then uh
songs like that you can use it to play okay so Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning into this channel. Um, don't forget to share this video on your various platform and see you in the next lesson. Bye and ciao.